So Derek Chauvin case was a, a, a trial that if I'm gonna be really honest, I tried to avoid watching. I, I had so much uh, anger, emotion, and, and I talk um, a lot internally in, in our group and with other friends of mine about anger being a complex emotion, right? Like nobody ever wakes up angry. You're hurt, you're afraid, you're fearful, you're frustrated, and all those things kind of swirl in together to create that anger and that energy inside of you. And I had so much of that that I didn't know how to process. And watching the trial, um, watching the defense attorney do uh, their job and try to defend that individual was disgusting to me. Um, and I, it was something that I had a real difficulty in processing. And that's odd for me, at least. Normally I can watch things and I can try to disconnect a little bit. Um, I, can, I can see things as be, uh, dispassionately um, and as objectively as I try to. Uh, but that one was, was hard. And then came the announcement of the verdict. Um, my next door neighbors apparently saw it before I did because they screamed. Um, and so I, I knew what was coming and there was this void. Um, people were happy and excited and I couldn't be. Um, and I think it was because I found it difficult to accept that this was worth being excited over. Uh, this to me seemed to be the bare minimum. 